morning, Year 3. Um, today we're looking at... Um, we're looking at today frequency tables and bar charts okay now we're getting a little bit more detailed into the year three work so making a frequency table here are some pets owned by 12 children it's hard to count them when they're jumbled up like this so we're going to put them in a table so frequency means how many we're going to fill in the frequencies and as you might guess it's easier to do this by doing tallies or writing in the numbers. I guess because the numbers are small, it's easier to write them in than do the tallies. Now we can see that the most common pet is a cat. What fraction of the children owned a rabbit? Oh, that's quite tricky. Three out of 12. If you can get this as a fraction, that's super good. It is 3 over 12, which is the same as 1 quarter. If you knew that, that's awesome work. So here's some type of weather in June. I want you to see if you can count the numbers up. OK. And I'm going to do it too. I can count 1, 2, 3 clouds. 1, 2 rains. 1, 2, 3 four suns and three thunders. Let's see if I've got them right. Well done if you two got that. So we can draw this as a bar chart for the data. We did similar thing yesterday. They weren't called bar charts yesterday, but they were very, very similar. We have the frequency, the numbers up the side, and we have the weather along the bottom. So you can see three days it rained, uh, three days it was cloud, two days it rained, we know it's four days it was sun, so one, two, three, four, and thunder, one, two, three. So both axes are labelled, as well as the title that we learned yesterday, it's also good to label what we call axes, the across and the up, okay? This one is known as the X axis, which we've labelled weather. This one's the Y axis, which is labelled frequency. And there's always a title. So, bar chart shows the weather for some days in January. How many days were cloudy? I'm looking at cloud, I'm looking up, and I can see the frequency was four. Rain, I can look up and see the frequency was five. Look up, frequency was one. Thunder. Now, there doesn't seem to be a bar for thunder. What does that mean? That means that there were no days that there was thunder. Therefore, I put in a zero. And snow, it snowed two days. How many more snowy days were there than sunny days? So we know snowy days were two days. Sunny days was one day. So the difference between one and two is easy, it's one. How many days were not sunny? So we need to count all the numbers that are not sun. Because it was cloudy four days, plus it was rainy five days, which is nine. Skip the sunny day. We know there was no thunder and snow was on two days, so that would be 11. How many days were recorded altogether? So I recorded five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. Now it may say 13 because of the zero. I don't think it will. Brilliant. Well done if you got that. So have a go at these questions and I'll go through the answers. Here are two more bar charts showing the weather in August and December. Which month had more cloudy days? So we need to look at cloud on both days. In August, there was two days that were cloudy. In December, there were three days that were cloudy. Therefore, the weather was more cloudy in December. How many more rainy days were there in December? So in August, rain, there was one rainy day. In December, there was two rainy days. So there was one more rainy day in December. 
frequency labels are missing from this bar chart, we have to work out by using the table. We know that 50p, we have six, this frequency would be six. We know that this one half of it would be three. So it must be going three, six, nine, 12. It's going up in threes, okay? If you didn't understand that, but I used the knowledge that this was six to be able to work out that half of six would be three, so it must be going up in threes. I hope you understand that. So 40p, three, six, nine, 12, 15. 60p would be just three, and 70p would be three, six, nine, 12. Let's see if I've got it right. Well done if you understood that. Okay. Jack spun a spinner and recorded the results. Pause it and see if you can answer these questions. Which score did he get most often? Let's have a look. Number of skin, spins and score. The one that's the tallest, the one that's the higher up, means that it had the most frequency is two. Which did he get least often? We can see the shortest means that he got the least frequency number of spins would be five. How many times did he spin the spinner? Okay, so we need to count up all the frequencies. So this would be 35 plus 45 plus 25 plus 30 plus 5 plus 30. Okay, now I'm going to have to work this out carefully. 45 plus 35 would be 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Plus 25 would be um, 105. Plus 30 would be 135. Plus 5 would be 140. Plus 30 would be 140. 50, 60, 170 is what I got. Maybe you did it on paper. Let's see if we got it right. Fantastic. Here are the results of a survey of 12 children. Click the correct bar chart for this data. Okay. Final question, is it this bar chart, this bar chart, or this bar chart that's, that's the right one? Now, we have no information on the bar chart, so how do we work this out? Now, we know that there were three brothers, and they've all got three bars. But we're looking at the frequencies. We can see that it goes three, four, five. It can't be the middle one, because brother one and brother two did not get the same score. So we can get put across through that one, so we're looking at these two. Here, we can see that there's a big jump between brother two and brother three, brothers one and brother two, number of brothers one and two. But there's only a, a jump of one on our frequency table. Here, we can see that it goes from zero brothers with three children, one brother with four, two brothers with five, and they're equally spaced. So it must be this one. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.